Good morning and God bless you. I'm reading from Proverbs chapter 28 and verse number 13 in King James Version. He who covers his sins will not prosper. But whosoever confesses and forsakes them, we have mercy. Praise God. A few days ago, I got a message, someone asking that I'd be condemning. And I quickly replied and I said, no, I've been trying to preach the word of God. If you feel condemned, that's not the plan. It's for you to repent paint and have a change of life. In fact, if you feel condemned, it could be a sign that there's something you need to adjust in your life. But God wants the best life for every one of us. He wants us to be celebrating in his kingdom. Living right is what is right with God. So today, this scripture is big. I'm like, so wow. God is so straightforward. God is a God of truth in him. There's no variableness or shadow of turning. He doesn't do things this way. He's a God of straightforwardness. This scripture today says, he who covers his sins. A covered sin will lead to poverty. That's what the scripture is saying. Um, Sin, most of the time, is not talking about you going everywhere to go and tell everybody what you've done wrong. When he's saying it will cover. No. It's when you justify what you're doing that is wrong against the will of God. When you try to look for a way to make it look right, when actually sin is sin. Any day, anywhere. So God does not want us to justify sins either to ourselves or to anybody around. There is no justification for what is wrong. I came a few days ago and I said something I've said over the years that it's not wrong to be wrong. It's only wrong to continue being wrong. And I told you, and the Holy Spirit said to me, no, it is wrong to be wrong. But it's also double wrong to continue being wrong. <laughs> I think what God wants us to do here is to know it will help heal. The day you know you are sick, that's the day you begin to look for healing. The day you know that you are bound, that's the day you're going to begin to look for freedom. Exactly. When you know that you're dwelling and living in sin, as a believer, as a child of God, who is focused, who, who have a, an intention to serve God in goodness and to serve God well, you're going to begin to look for how to get out of what is wrong. So the scripture here says, stop covering your sin. Stop justifying what is wrong. He said, um, here, we found out that the reason why prosperity, I'm, I'm talking of genuine prosperity, I'm talking of the kind of words that come from God, that God gives power to make wealth. Uh, the prosperity that comes from God is the one that comes from the blessing. It is it, it, the blessing of the Lord, uh, make her rich and added no sorrow. Not talking of the uh, prosperity of the world. He says, he that cover his sin shall not prosper. And everybody want to prosper this year. You want to prosper in everything, either in your spirit, spiritual prosperity, or you are talking of marital prosperity, or you are talking of financial prosperity, or you are talking of mental prosperity, or all kinds of prosperity that we have. He who cover his sin shall not prosper. So to prosper in 2021, that is a year of your new beginning. You have to expose your sin to God and let him cleanse you and let him help you. But I want to see here what he says. He said, he who cover his sin shall not prosper. There are three things I like to tell you about sin. Three things. Number one, sin is to stink it bites you, to stink you. It's, it, as a sinner, your destiny is being beaten by the evil of the wicked one. Number two, sin stink, smells. Number three, sin sink, it will take you down. Righteousness is not a nation. But sin is a reproach to his people. The truth you know about iniquity, about sin, is enough to help you, to, to make you tell yourself, no, I don't want to live this kind of life anymore. 
He's just finding out that everything you're doing is thinking, is smelling, is biting you, is taking you down. Then you're going to tell yourself, I'm done with this. I want the best for myself. The moment you find that the food you're eating is rotten or is smelling, you're going to throw it away. That's exactly what the Word of God is saying. He that covers his sin shall not prosper, but he whosoever confess it. So God wants you to confess your sin. Not going, ringing bell and say, come and see you, um, I used to serve Juju. No, 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 no. He's to confess it to the Holy Spirit. It's the spirit of holiness. To confess it to God and say, God, I'm not happy. This is not what I want to be. This is not who you saved me to be. And then that scripture says, uh, you will turn from them. <laughs> you don't have to confess it every day. You did it yesterday. You did it. No, 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 no. The Bible says, confess and turn away from them. That's what this scripture is saying. He whosoever confesses and forsake them. You know, but I love the way the NLT Bible put it. People who conceal their sins will not prosper. But if they confess and turn from them, they will receive mercy. He didn't say turn from it, turn from them. It's total holiness, total obedience that God wants. I read couples of scripture a few days ago from the book of James chapter 2, verse number 10 and verse number 11. It says, For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, Do not commit adultery, said also, Do not kill. Now, if thou commit, uh, do not commit adultery, yet you kill, you have become a transgressor of all the law and turn away from them. If God says turn away, it means you have the ability to turn away. Somebody says, you don't know how difficult it is. It's more difficult to continue in the wrong lane than to turn back. I have given an example over and over. Your, 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 your plan is to go to point A. You just found yourself that you're on the journey to point D. And then you say, because you've gone far to the point D, you are not going to turn back. Who does that? The day you realize, even if you have gone like, you are almost in the point D, which is a wrong uh, route to a wrong place, that, that's not your destination. What you do is to do a U-turn. And that's what God is calling us to, by the reason of the truth. He said, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. It's automatic. To know that you can't be on your way to hell and be a Christian. Ah, I know, it's not possible. Say, we either take you from God Oh, God will take you away from sin. That's what God is asking us to do. He said, if you turn away from that, this is the beautiful thing. He said, you will receive mercy. Mercy is waiting for you. God's arm is open. Say, come home. All you need is to make an attempt. You fall again, make an attempt. You fall again, make an attempt. Never back out. Never give up. Never throw the towel and say, you know what? I'm just going to live in sin comfortably because it's like I'm helpless. You are not helpless. That's why the Holy Spirit is in you. Is the spirit that is a comforter and a helper. I see you making an attempt this year for a new beginning. God bless you.